A groundbreaking ceremony in Hampton is one small step for NASA's Langley Research Center. Get it? But it's at least one giant leap for science. They're building a new flight dynamics research facility. New at 5, 10 on your side's Lauren Moss explains how the new facility will help prepare astronauts for space exploration. The new facility has a vertical wind tunnel inside, which allows researchers to test flight dynamics, advance science missions to the moon, and research autonomous flight vehicles. So the flying cars in the Jetsons are one step closer to becoming a reality. This patch of dirt will soon be the Flight Dynamic Research Facility with a vertical wind tunnel where NASA researchers can create air and spacecrafts and test them. They'll come up with concepts, they'll build mock-ups, and we'll put them in the tunnel and collect data. The new research facility will replace two aging wind tunnels. Jennifer Kibler says the new facility is a two-for-one that replaces the old and packs a much bigger punch. The wind tunnel's capabilities will bring world-changing research and development. And the way it works is similar to indoor skydiving. Think of the vertical flow of air in this new facility somewhat akin to that iFly capability. Focus on the flow of air vertically, which allows us to take advantage of gravity. She says the new facility means the future for aerospace is bright. It will help improve air transportation for urban and suburban areas and bring alive the cartoon flying cars. The idea that we get to reach for new heights to reveal the unknown for the benefit of humankind. And all of this state-of-the-art technology will be on NASA Langley in Hampton. Representative Bobby Scott says it's a welcomed addition to the other research facilities in Hampton Roads. Here we do a lot of cutting edge uh, research here in Hampton and this will just add. And the new addition is part of NASA Langley's revitalization plan. By 2030, the plan will reduce Langley's footprint by over 1.2 million square feet and will save NASA Langley $105 million in maintenance. The construction of the Flight Dynamics Research Facility will take two to two and a half years. It's set to open around late 2024. I'm Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.